to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again First of all, tell me where you are. How many miles to date? Well, I'm in Tropic, Utah right now where it's not so tropic at all. Today I'll walk about 20 miles once we're finished with this interview and I catch up with a few people who've been trying to call me. But you know, I'm always walking, always trying to work on meeting with other people, raising more funds, helping more families, handing out more donations. How much have you raised to date? To date, we have now raised $80,000. You're doing this in part for a friend of yours? Well, it all started when I, I was in a Kuwait, Kuwait uh, and Iraq doing convoy escort missions and my good friend who's an Iraq war fed, veteran uh, had sent me emails. He was very suicidal, hurting financially. His job had went under due to the economy. And I said to myself, I want to help my friend, but I'm powerless. Here I am at war, and there's nothing really that I can do financially to help my friend because, you know, I'm in the same boat. It's not like we get paid a whole lot to spend our whole year in Iraq. So, you know, I, I called charities, and that's when I found out that there's this enormous amount of military families who are applying for financial assistance in the same year that we had the all-time record high of suicides. So I said this, you know, this is not a coincidence. So it's you're primarily looking to help particularly people with, with post-traumatic stress and depression? A lot of that, yes. I said to myself, I have to step up to do something. I just don't know what I could do to seriously raise awareness across America. Is this true that just weeks in, your toenails fell off? Yes. Um, fell off? I still, Why? I still don't have toenails on my, my pinky toes still. Walking 20 to 30 miles a day, um, you go through a lot of feet pains. I had blisters on top of blisters. I understand that you encountered snakes. That I can see. But a swan? A swan attack? Yes, that is correct. Um, the swan came down a creek when we were uh, just sitting next to a creek bed, my wife and I, uh, taking a break, eating our only food that we had packed for the day, and a, a swan came down and it came right off the creek, walked towards us, spread its wings out, showed how big it was, and I was kind of surprised by the whole thing, and then it kept coming towards us. Uh, eventually, I just gave him my sandwich, and it you know, took my <laughs> sandwich, and then we were able to dart <laughs> dart away from it. <laughs> it's hard to tell people about your heroic adventure battling a swan for a sandwich. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly the stuff war <laughs> stories are made of. Okay, somebody else walking, superstar of this interview. Is that Emmy? This is Emmy the super dog, who happens to love to get her face rubbed. Um, <laughs> She uh, is now put in almost 1,700 miles. I believe she'll m make it over 1,700 today. Uh, so she's walked almost all of it. Obviously, uh, she's a trooper. She just cranks out miles. She loves to walk. She looks at me on days that we won't let her walk like, what's up? Why can't I walk with you? Godspeed. Good luck. Let's hope a swan is the worst thing that you encounter <laughs> in, the, in the days ahead. And keep us posted where you are. We'll be checking in online.